hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to make this stitch this is a variation i made with the tunisian stitch the number of stitches also depends on what is your project you just have to use the tunisian crochet hook if you will be making a larger project so let's get started so for this demonstration, I'm going to use my scrap uh, acrylic yarn and my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is not a Tunisian crochet hook because I'll just be showing you a swatch on how to do the stitch. To start off, I'll just be making my slip knot. And as I have said, you can make any number of stitches depending on what project you're going to do. So I'll just be making a certain number of uh, chains just to show you how we're going to do the stitch. So I just made uh, 12 chains and we're going to do the normal way of doing the Tunisian stitch on our first row. So insert your hook on the second chain from the hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. So this is just the normal Tunisian for our first row. So now that we have uh, completed the first row, we're going to go back. So now we have done our first row. For our second row, we're going to start with the variation. So what we normally do with the Tunisian crochet is we're going to insert our hook on this bar here, the straight stitch on the straight stitch here. We are still going to insert our hook on that bar here, on that straight stitch here. But before we do that, we're going to put our, we're going to bring down our working yarn before that stitch. Put your crochet hook over it. Insert your hook on that chain and let go of your working yarn. Then yarn over and work on that stitch. So the same thing we're going to do on all the stitches, we're going to put down your working yarn Hold on to it with your thumb. Insert your hook. So this is your working yarn. Your crochet hook should be over this uh, working yarn. And you're going to insert as normal on that bar. And now you can let go of this working yarn. Yarn over and pull through on that one loop. So again, bring down 
your working yarn hold on to it be sure it is before your chain insert your hook on that straight chain let go of your working yarn yarn over as normal and pull through on that chain in that way you are creating this uh, knot like a chain looks like a knot so again bring down your working yarn hold on to it your crochet hook will go over that yarn and insert on the next straight chain on that bar looks like a bar straight line chain let go of your yarn and yarn over and bring that loop on the first row it, it is quite hard to do on the first row because there is nothing to hold on to but as you go along and uh, you increase the rows you will get used to it so let go so we just continue doing that uh, variation until we reach our last chain So now we are done with our variation for the second row and when coming back we just uh, we're just going to do the normal Tunisian crochet stitch so yarn over and pull up on the first chain yarn over and pull through two boat loops on the second one until we reach the end So we are done with our second row. So all our even rows will be doing the variation and the odd rows we're going to do the normal Tunisian crochet. So we are on our third row and we're going to do the normal Tunisian crochet. So again, we're going to do our even row. So it means we're going to do the variation. 
again put down your working yarn go over it insert your hook on that bar yarn over grab your yarn and pull off on those on that first loop don't forget to bring down your working yarn go over it hold on to it let go and then yarn over and pull through that loop now it will be a little easier for us to hold on because we have this rows below so don't forget to bring down hold on to it insert your hook as normal to where we're used to where we are supposed to insert it let go yarn over and pull out on the on that loop again bring down hold on to it go over your working yarn insert on that straight chain here let go yarn over and pull through again bring down go over it insert your hook let go yarn over and pull through so again we are done with our variation row so the normal thing to do so we'll just be going back the normal way on how we really do it So on your odd row, we're going to do the normal Tunisian stitch. So you will just keep repeating our odd and even rows until you reach the number of rows that you need for your project. So just to show you, this is how it looks like. Uh, this is the front part and the back looks like this. This is just a uh, very easy variation for our Tunisian stitch just to have a different look. So I hope you enjoyed our tutorial for today and see you on my next video. Happy crocheting everyone. Stay safe and God bless. Please don't forget to subscribe.